Okay, next is to create the code for the fan sprite. Let's select the fan sprite here. We have added 8 costumes for cases where the fan rotates. Let's create the code so that these costumes change when the fan is turned on. First, when the go button is clicked, the fan sprite needs to move to the initial position. I drag the when flag click code block under events here. I'm going to drag a go to x colon y colon code block under motion here. Let's set the x position to 66 and the y position to 141. I drag the set size 2 code block under looks again here and the size is given as 70. And I drag the switch costume to code block in looks here and select fan from here. Next, a when I receive code block in events is dragged here. Click on this arrow and select fan on. Costumes need to be changed when the fan is on. Not just once, since we need to change the costumes continuously until the fan is turned off, we use a repeat until code block for this. I drag a repeat until code block under control here. Let's connect a code block with the equal sign in the operators for the condition. A speech recognition result code block under artificial intelligence is connected to the left side of the equal sign. Let's give the right side as fan off. Now drag a next costume code block in looks into this repeat until code block. To change the speed of the costume change, let's drag a wait one second code block in the control and give the time as 0.01 seconds. Next is the case of fan off. Again, drag a when I receive code block from events here. Click on this arrow and select fan off. At the time of the fan off, the costume needs to change as a fan. Here, let's drag a switch costume to code block in the looks. Let's click on this arrow and select fan. 